What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Sam from Team Zamrix right here and today guys I am coming at you with a brand new Rank 10 Trains deck profile for the brand new 2019 format and as I said to the deck profile I'll be explaining to you guys on the card choices and the reasons why I play them so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I truly believe that this version I'm about to showcase you guys is probably going to be the most competitive version uh, that I've been play testing with so far. If you guys see any weird ratios or things like that or any suggestions that you guys should recommend me on uh, you know adding in or taking out please make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below and obviously a huge shout out goes to uh, rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh and I actually got some inspiration and ideas uh, from watching his you know rank 10 videos and if you guys want to help support the channel make sure you guys get your awesome Team Samurai X1 playmat today I'll leave a link to my website tsx1.com in the link in the description box below all right guys enough talking without further ado let's get started with this rank 10 trains 2019 deck profile all right guys start with a brand new monster you're playing that I can play of course triple super express uh, bullet train. If you guys do not know what this card does, is I cannot declare an attack unless you send two other cards you control to the graveyard. You can only use each of these effects of Super Express Bullet Train once per turn. If all monsters you control are Earth Machine monsters, uh, minimum one, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it's a free level 10 monster, you can easily special them from your hand. It has amazing secondary ability as well as a dreamy end phase. If this card is in a graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can target one machine monster in your graveyard except for a Super Express Bullet Train and add it to your hand. This card lets you recur back your trains from your grave, which is really good so that way that if you do not OTK your opponent uh, within that turn, you can easily just you know OTK your opponent now. Next turn, right? So this card lets you add back your resources from your grave. Next off, you're gonna play uh, Triple Flying Pegasus. If you guys do not know what Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede's effect is that if this card is Normal Summon or Special Summon, you can target one Earth Machine monster in your graveyard, except for Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Special Summon in defense position, but it negates its effect. You can target one of the face-up monsters you control. Uh, the level of that monster or this card becomes the level of the other. So you either make the other card level four, or you make this card level 10. So that way that you can just overlay that monster and discard for one of your rank 10 XYZs which is really awesome. Uh, so Flying Pegasus Rebel Stampede is just really good for that. This card isn't really too good in your first opening hand uh, because you're more likely not going to have you know any trained monsters in the graveyard. But if you're actually able to use cards like Urgent Schedule beforehand uh, to make your rank 10 XYZ plays, you can easily just normal summon this card, provide back one of your level 10 monsters from your graveyard. And at the same time, you know if your duel happens to you pass more than three to four turns, this card is actually really good during the mid and late game as well to buy back uh, your level 10 monsters from your graveyard. So that way that you can just uh, keep reoccurring your uh, XYZ XYZ plays. So three and three, very standard to play in the deck. Next off, you know, for the standard train stuff, triple, uh, you know, Duracrane, a really good card. You guys all know this card's a level 10 monster, which you can easily bring out to your side of the field uh, whenever a machine earth monster is normal summon or special summon. If this card is attacked from an XYZ monster sent to the graveyard to activate a monster's effect, you can basically target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. You're actually able to get rid of any problematic floodgates or any problematic face up monster or spawn trap card your opponent controls uh, with heavy freight crane, Duracrane. And if your opponent forces you to go first, you can basically just make, uh, you know, your Dora using, uh, you know, Duracrane and another monster and then during your opponent's turn you can just activate Dora's effect to use uh, Dora Kane's pop effect during your opponent's turn uh, which is really awesome as well and obviously triple uh, Night Express Knight this card you can easily normal summon. It's a level 10 monster that you can normal summon on your side of the field, but its attack becomes zero, which doesn't really matter. And you're also playing Skill Drain in the deck, so if you're able to beat down your opponent with Night Express Knight, it's pretty awesome because Skill Drain will gain Night Express Knight's effect, and this card will become a 3,000 uh, normal summon monster. And then the last trained monster I'm playing in the deck is the one uh, Ruffian Rail Car. Uh, it's really good if you bring it out with Urgent Schedule and during the end phase, uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you basically get to add a level, uh, you know, 10 Earth Machine monster directly from your deck to your hand. Opening up multiple copies of this card in your uh, first turn doesn't and really contribute you into your combos, you know, anyways. So Ruffian Rail Car 1 is definitely a one-off, uh, in my personal opinion. Uh, to run off your monster lineup, I am playing Triple Cyber Dragon, guys. This card is absolutely amazing. The reason why Cyber Dragon is so good in trains is that Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon is a level 10 monster, okay? So you know what that means, right? Mega Fleet with another, you know, level 10 monster equals your Super Dreadnought, Real Cannon, Juggernaut, Libe. And the whole idea behind this deck is an OTK based deck, right? You always want a blind going second all the time with this deck. And obviously, if your opponent has a monster in the extra monster zone, this card is a, uh, you know, this card is a free plus. This card is just a free card to actually help you get rid of any problematic uh, cards in your opponent extra monster zone. And if you happen to face, you know, any extra link decks, you can use special on Cyber Dragon and just basically wipe uh, the entire extra monster zone. The reason why I like Cyber Dragon is that it's a monster that can get rid of any problematic monsters in the extra monster zone to get you access into Chimera Mega Fleet, which is a level 10 monster, which can be used as uh, XYZ material for one of your rank 10 XYZ monsters. 
And at the same time, against decks like Sky Strikers, this card can just freely send like Hagari or Shizuku. And it can also bypass cards like Eco Booster. And it prevents Ray from triggering her off her effect uh, in the graveyard. And you guys can go back and forth between playing Cyber Dragons or the Kaiju engine. Uh, Kaijus are also really good in the deck, especially going second. But the reason why I like Cyber Dragon better is because it just guarantees me a level 10 monster uh, when your opponent has an extra deck monster in the extra monster zone, which is really good. Uh, whereas the Kaiju engine, uh, if you want to have, you know, a Kaiju on your side of the field, which is a Jizukiru, you need to have Slumber or you need to have two Kaijus in your hand. Uh, one Kaiju to give your opponent and one Kaiju to special summon on your side of the field, right? So that's pretty much it for all the main deck monsters that I'm playing in the deck. Let's go off into your spell cards. The best, you know, spell card in the deck is Triple Revolving Switch Shard. This card is broken, man. Like, you want to open up this card all the time. This card is one of the best cards to open up with first turn. If a level 10 Earth Machine Monster is normal summon a special material field except during the damage step, you can activate this effect. Your opponent takes no battle damage for the rest of the turn, even if this card leaves the field. Also, you can special one level 4 Earth Monster with each or more attack from your deck. And if you do, it becomes level 10. So you can easily just normal summon, like, if you normal summon an Express Knight, you basically get a special summon a Rail Car directly from the deck. Uh, and Rail Car will become a level 10. And you can easily just use Rail Car and Express Knight to make you know your first turn draw uh, which is really good and that's secondary uh, effect as well is that you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to add one level 10 earth machine monster directly from your deck to your hand and you can only use each of these effects once per turn uh, so this card is like you're reinforcing the army every single turn so this card gets your resources every single turn by just the cause of sending one card uh, from your hand to the grave which is really amazing so switch chart it's just really great and obviously to search this card you want to play of course double terraforming so you're essentially playing five copies of aromic switch shards in your deck uh, and then with the brand new support oh my goodness guys triple urgent schedule this card is absolutely busted uh in this deck guys so urgent schedule if your opponent controls more monster than you do and you're always going to go second uh, so you're going to be more than likely going to be able to resolve this card especially when one level four uh, or lower and one level five or higher earth machine monster from your deck in defense vision so you get two bodies on the board to get access to your rank 10 plays and also get access easier access to your link plays is just absolutely phenomenal if you happen to have two urgent schedules uh, and you already happen to resolve one and then you want to you know attack with super express bullet train what you can do is that you can just set the urgent schedule and Activate Super Express Bullet Train's effect to send this card to the graveyard to basically add a level uh, 10 machine monster directly from your deck to your hand, which is really good. So that's a cool interaction that Super Express Bullet Train has uh, with Urgent Schedule. All right, guys, since this deck is an Express deck, you want to try to, you know, go through your deck as quickly as possible. Here is your Triple Express ticket, Part of Desires. You know what I mean? Like, you must play three copies of this card. This card is absolutely insane. You want to be as consistent as possible with this deck. Sometimes you do have breaky hands, and Pot of Desires actually helps you unbreak those hands. Uh, there are times where you can draw Desires off Desires, which kind of sucks, uh, but it's a high-risk, high-reward card, right? And you're playing three of each copy of each and every single, uh, you know, trade monster, except for real card in this deck. So Pot of Desires doesn't really, you know, hurt the deck. Starting off with seven cards, it's obviously better than starting off with six cards. Next off, I play Double Instant Fusion. You know, going second, you want to have, uh, you know, as much removal cards as much as possible. So getting access into your Thousand Eyes to, you know, bait out an effect uh, before your normal summon of your trains uh, to bait out effects, which is absolutely amazing. And Thousand Eyes gets you access to Link Karibo, and then you can just open up uh, your extra monster zone from there. So Interfusion is just really good for that. I really just love one-on-one -on -one removals, you know, with this deck, especially if you're actually able to OTK your opponent, you know, faster that way. So Interfusion and cards like Cyber Dragon, it's just really awesome spot removals. And then, you to play of obviously the one monster born to buy back your combo pieces from the graveyard one regeki overall really great removal in my personal opinion and this card is just really underrated in 2019 so last but not least since i want to hit hard with this deck double limited removal man like if you open up this card you're going to be gaming your opponent regardless you know like 12,000 damage is a lot right so 12,000 damage with libe is insane so that's why i love limiter removal so much and this card obviously works wonders in the damage step so you attack with one of your monsters damage step boom limiter removal gg no re right so limiter removal is just absolutely phenomenal uh to actually just secure victory right there and then, next off of your hand traps since this deck is going second deck you're gonna play of course triple ash blossom uh enjoy spring and also triple infinite impermanence. And I believe that these six are overall, you know, the most universal hand traps that you can play in uh, 2019. So triple ash, triple impermanence. And against the Thunder Dragon matchup, this deck has no problem beating that deck at all because all you gotta do is infinite impermanence, uh, they're Titan, and then you just go off. Like, you don't need to worry about Colossus because you barely search in this deck other than off switch shard. Uh, but since they're gonna have three monsters on the board, and since Thunder Dragon players are always gonna put, 
you know, their monsters in attack mode for some reason, you can easily OTK them using your Juggernaut just to keep attacking all their monsters. And last but not least, you want to play, of course, the one skill drain. There are times where, you know, you do not OTK your opponent uh, with Super Dreadnought, Real Cannon, Juggernaut, uh, Libe. So having the skill drain just as a backup plan is just absolutely phenomenal. So skill drain just really broken in his deck, in my opinion. Uh, so that's pretty much for the main deck. Let's go off into your side deck real quick. Side deck for trap decks, you're going to play, of course, Triple Red Reboot. Obviously, really good against Ultra Geist, really good against basically any trap deck, so that way you can just easily OTK your opponent. Triple Gold Solver, you know, really good against, you know, Summon Sorcerers. The next engine I'm playing is a Kaiju engine. I like to play this engine in the side deck. It's really great against Strikers because you give them the Kaiju and then they can't activate their traps. Another alternative lineup that you can play instead of the Cyber Dragons, Kamungus, Gamma Seal, and uh, the one interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Okay, and then, uh, you know, for going first cards, you're gonna play Imperial Order and uh, triple goals in match because games two and three, if uh, you win game one, your opponent is definitely gonna make you go first because they know that your deck is an OTK deck and the deck can't really go first, so you wanna side going first cards. And that's pretty much it for the side deck, guys. Let's go off into your extra deck. To start off our extra deck, we're gonna play, of course, double Super Dreadnought, Real Cannon, Juggernaut, Libe. Card's amazing. You can easily make this card by overlaying this card on top of a rank 10 machine XYZ monster, and you basically transfer its material to this card. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. It gains 2,000 attack and defense. It becomes 6,000 attack, which is really good. Also, for the rest of this turn, you can only declare an attack with this card. During each battle phase, this card can make attacks on monsters up to your number XYZ material it has plus one. So usually this card will have uh, two attacks, but if you do not detach an XYZ material uh, prior to summoning this card, you can basically attack three times. And with limited removal, it becomes 12 thousand damage uh, which is absolutely broken so uh double ebay definitely a must off and then next off guys i like to play two dora uh, dora the explorer uh, you know two super dreadnought real cannon uh you know gustav max through all testing i've only just gone into these cards right here uh, especially to OTK my opponent. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if I am, you know, messing up with the ratios, but I like the two and two, uh, you know what I mean? Like I see some builds where they play one and one, but like there are grind games where you need to go into, you know, the second one of this or the second one of this, you know, they're just really good XYZs to have in those certain situations. Uh, the Sky Palace helps you get rid of any uh, problematic cards, which is really good, especially Kamala Alba Duracrane is really awesome. Pop two cards is really nice. Uh, Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. This card is your Heavy Storm of the deck. I've never made this card once throughout testing, but it's a Heavy Storm. And having access to it is just pretty good. And 5,000 Beat Stick with limited removal to make it 10,000 is pretty okay. And then uh, the one number uh, 35 Ravenous Tarantula. This card is in here to literally just bump up Super Dreadnought, Real Cannon, Juggernaut. This card is literally an attack boost just for this card. Uh, for Lynx, Link Karibo, uh, Penistag, and uh, one Cleave for Genius. Uh, this card is really good against Striker, and it's like one of the, uh, the low-key good supports for trains. Cleave for Genius is really great, and Cleave for Genius commonly off with Urgent Schedule is broken. Like you really get to search, you know, a Machine Monster. Uh, One thousand Eyes Restrict uh, for your Instant Fusion, uh, and last but not least, Double Chimera Tech, uh, Mega Fleet Dragon for your Cyber Dragon. So. And that's pretty much for the deck profile, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are wondering what are the combos for this deck, there's not really cool combos you can do with this deck. Like, the deck is just summon this big daddy, you express your way into your opponent's life points, and you just kill them. Like, there's no easier way. Like, what's the point of doing 50,000 step combos where you can just bring Big Daddy himself and express your way through every single thing your opponent has on the board? There's no need to be complicated with this deck to just combo off a million gazillion times. You just summon this card and you win the duel, right? So yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this deck profile, make sure you guys smash thumbs up button. Let me know what your thoughts about this deck in the comment section below. And if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get uh, your Team Sarah one play mat today in the link in the description box below. This is your boy Sam from Team Sarah Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deed with it. These bozos always sneak this and they taking shots. I'm a key with it. Like, no, no, this league business. Ooh, you